my Virgos, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. Um, my readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Um, so please write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Um, also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, um, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy, and lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. All right, my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers is what can be expected. Okay, somebody's hopeful that they'll get another opportunity. Somebody wants a second chance. They feel like if that's all it, they feel like if they could just get in there, whether this is to be reinstated back at a job, whether this is to be back in a relationship or another opportunity, like maybe you had in the past that maybe something got messed up. Maybe you weren't ready for it. Maybe you squandered money away. You guys are just praying and hoping that you could just have one more shot because things aren't looking good right now. Um, it looks like you're going to get your wish. But it looks like some of you might repeat those same things. Also, a lot of you, so this could be you or this could be somebody else, somebody involved with you. You, I feel like maybe they attempted to do something, maybe try to try to attempt to do something to harm somebody. Maybe they were paying someone to spiritually attack someone. And now they're seeing what karma is. So they're like, oh my goodness, if I could just get my life back on track, if I could just get it back in order, you know, I promise I'll do better. I feel like the universe, after, you know, after a few years of somebody not being able to gain any kind of success, I feel like now the universe has sort of like opened up doors to certain people. This could be you or this could be somebody you're involved with. But they chose to do negative things again, and now they're back at this five of pentacles. Also, I do see that somebody's attempting to break up a relationship or to make a relationship like on the rocks. So, like, let's say, for example, you're trying to work it out with your partner, but the third wheel keeps contacting, texting, saying, oh, well, I was just with him yesterday, or keeps sending mixed messages, making it look like the other party's still involved when they're not. Don't let outside uh, influences destroy your relationships. If you're in love with someone and they made a mistake and they promised that they won't do it again and you took them back and you took them back, I'm not telling anybody to take back a cheater. That's not what I'm saying here. This is for those of you that took someone back. Don't let outside influences mess up your relationship. If they've got receipts, by all means, trust and believe. If, uh, if, if something just doesn't add up, trust your gut. But if somebody's sitting next to you and you get a text message from someone saying, oh, he just left my house five minutes ago, we know that that's not true, right? then you probably shouldn't be fighting with the person for something that they couldn't have possibly done. So let's just think about that. So don't mess up your, your relationship more than it already is. Okay, because we it does show here the Ace of Cups, so you guys, you guys can repair something. Also finances, if you guys are struggling financially this week, it looks like you got good news coming as far as your finances go. Um, some of you, with this Five of Pentacles, I feel like some of you like literally are starting over. You like literally have nothing there's nothing, like, you guys need everything. So maybe you got kicked out of somewhere. Maybe you got into a new place and you don't have furniture yet. You don't have anything there yet. So you're sort of like at the mercy of strangers. It looks like you're going to have a lot of people rally around you. And it looks like you're going to get that place filled up with furniture or food or whatever it is. You're, whatever you need. If this is a job, you're getting it. Whatever the need is this week, it will be fulfilled. We do have the tower towards the end of the week. But that doesn't always mean something very negative. So let me just clarify. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the week of April 8th, 2019. What, what is, what is the, why is the Tower card here towards the end of the week? What is this for? In, in regards to what? Five of Swords? Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Then we got the Hermit. So it has to do with you guys. It may be, okay. So if you're cross watching, it shows that there is a Virgo here involved. So if you're cross-watching and you want to know what a Virgo is up to, or if you are a Virgo with a Virgo, I feel like somebody's going to find out something not so good, maybe some robbery, some theft, uh, maybe some cheating, something that's not so good. Somebody's going to find out that somebody did something, um, especially if somebody was like money-hungry, money-grubbing, money-hungry. 
and they did they overstepped they could possibly involve law enforcement with all these swords here but it definitely has to do with you virgo either you or a fellow virgo so maybe do the right thing this week but there will be discovery do you see this person with the lantern there will be discovery somebody's going to be discovering something this week yeah but as far as love goes i feel like a lot of you will attempt to date but you'll still feel like you're not meeting the one so try to stay optimistic because we don't we don't always marry the first person we ever had sex with. We don't always marry the first person, you know, we ever talked to on a phone or texted. That's not always the case. So sometimes we have to keep looking. So, all right, guys, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.